literally like a custard. So it's like a blancmange type thing. my channel or welcome back if you've already subscribed if you're new welcome now today guys I'm going to be talking about how I got this beautiful wash and go from my favorite products of course but if you are following my six month challenge that I'm doing with my protective styling what am I saying styling styling <laughs> anyway I said I was gonna do two weeks out of the month so seven days well 14 days altogether with my hair and protective styling ie Dutch braids and then I was gonna wear my hair in a wash and go or a bun or what have you. So this is wash and go time. I've actually had my hair in a protective style for three weeks rather than two because I was actually enjoying it. So I'm thinking this challenge is a bit more easier than I thought. In and show you what I use. All my favorite products to get this shiny, juicy, voluminous uh, wash and go. Okay, so guys, as you know, I do love my cream of nature. My hair just really loves cream of nature, but there are some new things in the cream of nature line that I tried. So this is from the Argan Oil line. And this is apple cider vinegar rinse. And I decided to use this because part of my protective styling challenge, I was gonna, at the beginning of each month, I was gonna clarify with a clarifying shampoo and then co-wash. I tried the co-wash about a week ago. I really can't get used to co-washing. Even though it says it cleans your scalp, I just don't feel like my scalp is clean. I don't feel like my hair is clean. I feel like I get a lot of build-up still. Because in my head it's a conditioner still. So I don't, I don't know. I just feel like it's a lot of build-up. Rather than using a co-wash, I decided to go with their apple cider vinegar rinse. <laughs> so as you can see, I, um, this is the first time I'm using it. I found it very, very, what's the word? I don't know, it gave me a very nice squeaky clean feeling. I was quite shocked. It also gave my scalp like a tingling sensation. Not intense, but a feeling that my hair was being, or my scalp was being cleaned. So I will definitely recommend this one, guys. I paid five pounds for this, but um, that's how much I used to clean my scalp and the lengths of my hair. And my hair felt super clean afterwards, as you can see here. So yeah, so I would definitely recommend this. So this is the first one that I use. Okay, so I've gone out of the brand a bit because I'm not one person, I'm not like a person that would wear all Nike together. I wear, I mix it up, I wear Nike and Adidas and if it looks good. So I do that with my hair products too. I use Cream of Nature and also, I've been using Cantu. Now, I've had to go and get this Cantu deep conditioner. So, it's a colour protectant, which was perfect. So, it's got quinoa in there, and it's a moisture mask, and it certainly made my hair feel super moisturised. My colour was popping. It didn't seem to be stripped or anything. So, I was really impressed with that. So, I'm going to show you what this looks like. As I said, it's like a body lotion. Let's see. Yeah. And to me, it smells very, very florally. It doesn't smell like their usual Cantu products. But, um, yeah, again, with that, I didn't use a lot. I started obviously with my ends first, as you can see here. And um, I just worked my way up, but this stuff was really good. It is really good, I should say. Okay, so number three. I've gone back to my cream of nature, but I'm using a different line. So this is not the Argnor line, this is the Pure Honey line, and this is the leave-in conditioner. Now, if you saw from my last video, I used the setting lotion, which I am not a fan of, and, um, <laughs> yeah. On contrary, I am actually a fan of this one, and that's how much I used, guys. So if you can see that, it says it's a breakup breakage, leave-in conditioner for dry damaged hair. It's got pure honey, rich coconut oil, creamy shea butter, no sulfates, mineral oil. So this is what it looks like. So it's got a spray nozzle and it's not watery guys, it's actually a cream. So I've just sprayed that onto my hand. Because I thought it was going to be a bit more like a liquid, but it's like, again, it's like a lotion. Now, 
Oh, it smells really nice. Um, I did have an issue with the packaging. It looks so cute. I love the way they've done it. I mean, when I showed it to my mom, she was saying that it's like stuff that you could eat, and I think that's what they were going for, because this is what actually attracted me to the line. I like their packaging. But, guys, when you are spraying this in your hair and you've got residue on your hands from, from working your hair before, it does get a bit tricky to keep spraying because the, the bottle gets slippery and you've got to keep on trying to spray it and it's very, it is quite difficult. So um, I think the packaging let them down in this case. I think what would be better for the cream of nature with this one is if it was a pump. And I, well, I ended up spraying it in my hands at the end because I had enough. But usually you just obviously spray it like that. I think a pump would be better. But maybe that's what they were going for. Maybe they wanted it to be sprayed in your hair. But I don't know. Something's not really working with that. But anyway, I love this product. And it is super moisturizing, guys. And guys, I would definitely recommend this. Okay. Okay, and last but not least, it's funny guys, I always try these products, don't like them initially, and then I come back to them and end up loving them. And this is what happened with my styler. This is the Argan Oil Twisting Custard. Now, my mum's had major success with this. I have not until now. This is what I've got recently, and I was trying to show you guys how I applied it. I apply it like I would with a gel or a butter, but my camera cut off, so I can't actually show you that, but the video actually didn't continue working after. I thought it was recording, but it didn't, so all I managed to get was this. <laughs> but this is what my hair looked like when it was wet, with the styler in, and these are the results now once my hair is dry. So as you can see, it's shiny, it's elongated, it's no crunch, it's soft, defined, so guys, I usually use the Butterlicious Curls, but that's a bit more greasy, that's more like a lotion. This is literally like a custard, so it's like a blancmange type thing. Yeah, it's like a custard. It smells like their cream of nature line with something added and I can't pinpoint it. But anyway guys, this stuff is amazing. And that is literally how I got this beautiful wash and go. <laughs> So guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Miss Lauren Lee 11 If you've got any comments or questions, you can leave them down below in the description box. All the details of the products I've used, I will put them down below in the description box, and I will see you in the next one. All right, guys, have a great one, and I'll see you soon. Bye.